welcome to my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick Lip Swatch video. In this video, I'm also going to be including lip care for liquid lipstick, so also please stay tuned for that. And I'm just going to say right out there that this is like, these liquid lipsticks are amazing. Like, they're definitely going to be in my July favorites. I, I'm just so, so happy with them. I wasn't expecting them to be as great as they are because they are, you know, $6. And, you know, everyone raves about the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and... I don't know, just from some of the reviews that I saw on YouTube from other beauty gurus, beauty gurus that have a lot of subscribers that I think are really credible, you know, um, I was a little hesitant about them. Now, I might not have gotten the colors that were misses. Maybe all the ones that I got happened to be the good ones. I don't know. I guess I can see down the road and try out some more. But, oh, maybe. Like, I'm totally going to be trying some more. I'm so excited about these liquid lipsticks. It's insane. Um, but there's... a I mean, I disagree with some of the beauty gurus that I've watched videos on, um, and, you know, some of the liquid lipsticks that I w was going to get, I didn't get, and now I wish I had gotten, um, but was a little hesitant based off their reviews, so I guess I'm going to try those out and see if I agree with them on those particular liquid lipsticks, but of the five that I'm going to be showing you guys, I absolutely love them. I think they apply great. I think um, that they aren't that drying. A lot of people have said that they've been super drying, but they're not as dry as the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. No freaking way. They are a lot easier to apply than the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. So if you're ha if you're someone who has a hard time applying liquid lipsticks, you're going to have a lot easier of a time with these. Now, they're a little bit harder the more dark the liquid lipstick gets, but even so, I still found it really easy. And this is coming from me. I've always had a hard time applying liquid lipsticks. I think the Anastasia ones are a lot, um, you know, there's just so much more product in one swipe. So they're trying to say, like, oh, you can get it all in one swipe. But the thing is, it gets everywhere. But these don't do that. You can get them in one to two swipes and you're good to go. I think they layer nicely. So, oh, I'm so in love with these. You guys, I'm so happy that I got these before my surgery tomorrow because now I was a I'm able to, I'm, I'm going to get this video up tonight. I'm so determined because I really want to put this up for you guys because this is such a great product. All right, just another disclaimer. I put this disclaimer in my video that I recorded yesterday because I didn't think I was going to get these liquid lipsticks in time in order to put it up on Tuesday night, which I'm really aiming for. I'm hoping that I do get that. Um, but in that video, I did put a disclaimer up saying that I'm going to be um, getting surgery on Wednesday. So that is why I'm putting up this video on Tuesday. And I'm going to be in surgery on Wednesday and then recovering the next couple of days. So because I filmed that other video, I think I'll be good to go with putting up a video on Sunday. But for any reasons there's any complications, I won't be putting up the video on Sunday. I'll try to do it as soon as I possibly can when I feel good. But I am getting, um, my kidney is enlarged, so I'm getting that fixed. There's a blockage, so my doctors are going to go in there and um, fix that blockage. So it is kind of a serious surgery, so I'm hoping you guys can be understanding that um, my timing may be a little bit off with things, and I'm going to do my best, especially with the giveaway. I'm going to be announcing the giveaway on Thursday. I think tomorrow, Wednesday is the last day that you guys can enter, so also keep that in mind. And um, so I will be letting you guys know, hopefully that day, unless there's anything major that goes wrong with the surgery or whatnot. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. But I just want to let you guys know that that's what's going on. I'm not being lazy. I'm going to be doing my best to get stuff up for you guys. Now, before we get started with the lift swatches, I do want to do some arm swatches and just give you a little preview of what I'm going to be going over. So the first um, liquid lipstick, which I knew I had to get because it was so unique, is Trap. This is nothing like I have. And out of all the liquid lipsticks that ColourPop came out with, it is the one that is closest to Cashmere from Lime Crime, which I'm not going to be getting Cashmere from Lime Crime just after that whole scandal. I just don't feel comfortable with it. All right, so here is a swatch of Trap. It is such a pretty color, like this purpley, grayish, nudish color. I can't even explain it. It's just so freaking pretty. The next color that I got was Donut. Surprisingly, this is the one that I'm least excited about that I got. It's a little bit, I don't know why, out of my comfort zone, um, but I don't know. I still like it. I think it's a great way to switch up your lipstick look um, and your makeup look, but out of all of the five that I tried, I think this is the one that if I had to give one back, it would be this one. So here is Donut. See, it's just a pretty unique color. It's kind of like a pinky coral, um, but still a good color, but I, I'm so in love with Trap compared to Donut, and Donut's the one that I would definitely... I think is my least favorite, and then Trap is my favorite. The next color is 
buds. So this is really similar to Candy Yum Yum. So maybe this I probably should return over the donut because donut is something I definitely don't have. Um, uh, Candy Yum Yum I obviously do have um, and it's really similar to buds but it is a slight bit darker. So here is Budge, you can see it looks a lot like Candy Yum Yum, just a little bit darker, but it is such a great fun color to wear out. All right, the next color is Mars. Now this is a color I don't have too because it's more of a pinky red. So that's why I wanted to get it something a little bit different than what I have. And I think it's just so beautiful. So here it is on my arm swatch. So see, it looks kind of red, but it also has a tinge of pink to it. I think it's just so incredibly gorgeous. The last color is succulent. I just thought this would be the perfect red for summer because it's a little bit brighter. It has a, maybe like a little tinge of orange to it, but I think it's just so gorgeous. So here it is swatched on my arm right here. It's just such a beautiful red, and it's what I'm wearing now on my lips. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, let's jump on into the liquid lipstick swatches. <laughs> Alright, so the first lipstick that we're going to try on together is this lipstick in Trap. So I'm really excited about this lipstick because it seems like it's going to be more like cashmere, which I never got cashmere from Lime Crime, and I won't now with, after that scandal. But I wanted to try to get a color that is similar. Alright, so let's try it on. Alright, so here is Trap. I am absolutely in love with this color. I think it is amazing. So this is something, this is a great purchase. If you get something from ColourPop Cosmetics, get the liquid lipstick in Trap. Like, this is a very nice color and it's also unique. You know, it's not, a, you know, your typical pink or a red. I'm so in love with this color. Now, as far as formula goes, I absolutely love it. It doesn't feel that drying. Like, it's drying, but it really doesn't feel that drying on my lips. Now, I did go in with Vaseline before this, but it's, compare, I'm going to compare it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Those are more drying. Now, they may last longer. I'm not sure how long these are going to last. I don't have time to really test it out for you guys, because this is really a first impression. Um, but I will let you guys know in the future, whether it's in one of my videos or on social, on social media. Also, this was so easy to apply. So incredibly easy to apply. The Anastasia liquid lipsticks, I like them. A lot of people rave about them. But the problem with their liquid lipsticks are the fact that there's just so much product that they, I think they did that because they're like, oh, you can only use one swipe to get it all over your lips. But it's so goopy, it gets everywhere. So that's my issue with the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Um, I think it's a pain in the butt to apply. This was so easy. I did it two swipes, so one on my bottom, one on my top. I don't even have to do this. Normally when I put on any sort of liquid lipstick or um, a lipstick even, just any sort of product, I always have to go like this just to make sure that no excess came off. No excess came off on this. Like I, I didn't want to purchase too many of these just because my lips are so prone to getting dry. Now they may have an issue with um, dryness with these um, as the day goes on or as I want to apply uh, them more and more often. But, this really feels nice. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really freaking excited, okay? So, oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to get every color now. Damn it. These are cheap. These are $6 a piece. So, track went really well, but let's see how Donut is. Now, Donut is like a peaky, pinky peach kind of color. It seemed a little bit more summery swatched and um, on other people. So, let's just see how it looks. Alright, so here is Donut. So with this one, I did go like this a little bit just in case, but I think that's more of a habit. Um, but really, this one went on in one swipe. I guess it just depends on how much you put in there. Um, but I was able to do this in one swipe. It was easy. It wasn't messy. And I don't know. I really, really like this formula. I think I really don't understand when people have said in their videos, and these are people who have a lot of, a lot of subscribers, and they are people who have had trouble with dry lips, and they said that, you know, it, it's super drying, it's the driest they've ever tried, you know, because it's an ultra matte liquid lipstick. Um, they think, you know, they mentioned how, you know, you can't layer it. Now, I haven't layered it yet. I, maybe I'll try that in the end with the last color. Um, but you really don't need to layer it, so I don't even see why that's even an issue, because I think one layer is perfect. One swipe, or uh, maybe two, depending on how much you get on it. Is just perfect and I really don't have any issues with it and you know some people say like oh I won't be able to wear this because it's so drying which is what I thought but I feel like as long as you moisturize your lips ahead of time this is going to be fine 
This is not any drier than any other liquid lipstick that I've tried. I've tried an Anastasia liquid lipstick and then the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita. And the Anastasia ones, I think, are a lot more drying. And there were other beauty gurus who said that they struggle with putting on liquid lipsticks, which I am one of them. And they said that these were hard to apply. I really don't see how they are hard to apply. I have a hard time applying liquid lip, lip, liquid lipsticks, but I found this to be the easiest application as far as liquid lipsticks go. As far as color goes, I do like the color. I think it's a great color to switch up, but it's not like something my go my go to color would be. So far, I am loving these, but we're gonna start slowly moving into the more darker colors. And the color that I have next is Buds. Which, this is just a, uh, apparently a dupe for Candy Yum Yum, which is probably why I bought it. I keep buying lipsticks that are look, that look exactly like Candy Yum Yum, and I'm like, what's the point? Let's just see how it looks on the lips. Alright, so here is Buds. I'm super excited about this color. I do think it is similar to Candy Yum Yum, but I think it, it might be a tad darker but I really do like it. I think it's so fun it'd be a great liquid lipstick to wear on a girl's night out I did end up going in with an extra swipe on the bottom just because I wanted to give it a little bit more color I did do a little bit of touch up right here on the corners but not much I feel like what's nice about this is once it sets it sets with lipsticks they're still gonna be so creamy that even when you do this they start getting on your fingers and they start getting everywhere so it's a little bit harder to adjust this, you put it on, and maybe a little bit comes off, but you just swip, wipe it off, and then you're, like, completely good to go. I thought this was really easy to put on. Once again, it didn't get everywhere. Um, I think it's buildable, the bottom layer that I did build up. I think it looks great the way that it is. I think, I don't know if it's necessarily different colors um, vary. But the next liquid lipstick that we're going to go over is Mars. I was really, there was a couple other ones I kept tossing between for my fifth pick. Um, but Mars just really stood out to me. It's kind of like a pinkish red. At least it looked like when it was swatched. So I really wanted to try this one out. So let's see how it looks on the lips. Alright, so here is Mars. I love this color. I think it's just so beautiful. And I think it's something that I don't really have in my collection. So I'm really glad that I got it. Now this one I had to work with a little bit more, but that's kind of typical whenever you're getting into the more dark, dark liquid lipsticks or even just lipsticks in general, you have to work with it a little bit more. But really, compared to other lipsticks that I've tried that are dark, this was really easy. And even with this liquid lipstick, I'm still agreeing with my past reviews of the other liquid lipsticks that these are easy to apply and they aren't super drying. So the last liquid lipstick that I'm going to go over with you guys is... Oh my gosh, I am so clumsy. It's not a bar of soap, Alex. Okay. Anyway, the last color that I'm going to go over with you guys is succulent. Now, I thought succulent would be a great color for summer, like the perfect red lipstick for summer. So let's just see if that's true. All right, as I suspected, this is the perfect summer red color. I just think it is gorgeous. Now with this, I did have to layer it more than any of the other ones that I did. It's kind of weird. I feel like for the darker ones, I had to layer more than for the lighter ones. I felt like my lip color was peeking through. Now normally it's the opposite. Normally when you go darker, you don't have to worry about your lips peeking through as much. But with this, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I guess maybe the lighter colors blended it better in with my lips. So that way it didn't stand out as much. But when we got in the darker colors, my obviously my natural color isn't this red. So I don't know. I had to layer it, but I have no problem with the layering. I think they layer nicely, at least the ones that I have. So that's definitely something to consider. But the good thing about it is you know how to layer it. It was really easy to apply. So you just apply the layer. It dries pretty much instantly. And then you layer it again. So it was really easy to apply. I think out of all the liquid lipsticks that you could buy, these are the best because they're cheap. There's a great color selection, and I don't think that they're too drying. They're so easy to apply, and I think that I'm going to be wearing lipstick a lot more often now that I have these. The last thing that I wanted to go over with you guys is lip care. So when it comes to liquid lipsticks, you're going to really have to take care of your lips in order to wear them and make sure that your lips stay hydrated. So before you put on a liquid lipstick, I would highly, highly recommend to hydrate and also exfoliate your lips. So to hydrate my lips, I use good old Vaseline. I think I find this to be the most hydrating um, thing for my lips. And so what I do is I soak my lips with Vaseline for a little bit. Then I wipe it off a little bit with a tissue. And then I exfoliate my lips with the e.l.f. liquid 
the Elf Lip Exfoliator. This is something that Ready Set Glamour recommended to me, and I'm so happy that I got it. Um, it is such a great lip exfoliator, and um, so I take, then I have that sit for a bit, so I put that on all over my lips, have that set for a bit, then I wipe it off, and then I go back in with Vaseline again and let that soak for a while. Usually I'm good to go then, but if my lips aren't, I just keep repeating the process. Now another thing that I do is I don't just put it on my lips. I kind of go on the outsides of my lips because I start noticing that if you have really dry lips, they kind of crack on the outside too. So make sure whenever you're putting on the Vaseline or the lip exfoliator that, that you're using, that you put it all around your lips so that way the outer parts of your lips can also um, get fixed as well. Now that's just part of my everyday makeup routine, which is what I included in my most recent everyday makeup tutorial. Um, but when it comes to liquid lipsticks, there's um, there's a much greater need to do that. Now, I don't imagine that I'm going to be wearing these liquid lipsticks every day. If I'm able to, I will definitely let you guys know. I think that will be amazing. But when it comes to matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, I don't wear them every day in a row because your lips are just going to get completely dried out. So what I do is I might wear it um, one day, then maybe a day or two wear a different lipstick or just not wear any lipstick at all and just concentrate on hydrating my lips and then go back in with the liquid lipstick on one day. So just kind of plan ahead too. If you know you're going to wear a lip, liquid lipstick out on Friday night, maybe not wear a liquid lipstick on Thursday or during the day Friday. So that way when you put it on, you know that your lips have, are more hydrated. They're not completely dried out from the previous liquid lipstick that you just wore either that day or the day before. Now, if you need to touch up your liquid lipstick um, and you find that your lips are so dried out from just the first layer that you've had on, let's say like five or six hours ago and you're going in to touch up, what I like to do is to go back in with Vaseline and just put Vaseline on my lips, let it hydrate, I don't know, five, ten minutes, maybe longer, depending on how dry that they are. And then once you feel that your lips are more comfortable, then just take a piece of tissue paper, just like this, and then dab it like, like this, just so you can get that layer off, and then go back in with your liquid lipstick. That way you hydrated your lips before you went back in with that second layer. Then, of course, at the end of the day, when you're done wearing your liquid lipstick, take it off and then go in with Vaseline, exfoliate your lips, and go in with Vaseline again. Especially if you're someone who's going to want to wear liquid lipsticks more often, it's important to hydrate and exfoliate your lips as much as possible. So for my final thoughts, I would say definitely get these liquid lipsticks. I think that they are amazing. They're a lot better than I expected. I thought they were going to be super drying to the point that I would never be able to wear them. I only ordered five of the colors because I wanted to try them out first of all. I didn't want to buy a ton and then realize I hated them. I hate doing returns. I probably wouldn't return them if I didn't like them. So um, I wanted to just try out five and then, you know, I knew I have dry lips. So why would I need that many colors when I can barely wear them that often? But I have a feeling I'm going to be able to wear these more often. I'm more motivated to wear these more often because they, um aren't super, super drying. They're a little drying, but they're not that drying. They're really easy to apply. I can layer them. Um, even if I do mess it up a little bit, I can easily swipe off the excess that I don't need around my lips, and then I'm good to go. It's not like I'm getting lipstick everywhere like I would with a normal lipstick. So I just think that these are such great, great quality um, liquid lipsticks. Now, I don't know how long that they last, so I'll keep you guys posted on that, but so far, first impressions, I am just amazed and I'm definitely going to be going online and buying more. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should try next, what you've tried and really like, or what you're interested in seeing me try before you go out and buy. I'd be happy to try that out for you guys so that you don't have to spend your money before you at least get my review on it. So let me know down in the comments what you think I should try next. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my ColourPop Liquid Lipstick Lip Swatch video. Please let me know down in the comments what your favorite color is, or favorite colors, I'm sure it's hard to narrow it down, of the liquid lipstick that ColourPop has come out with. And then also, please make sure to hit subscribe so you stay tuned for more videos from me. Let me know also down in the comments if there's any particular videos that you would like for me to do in the future. I'd be happy to do them. Make sure to like this video if you did like it or if you found it helpful. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!